What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have Vasil Hitech Lomachenko once again going for and looking to be a world champion again tonight as he's going to fight former unified lightweight world champion, Australian star boxer George Cambosis for the vacant IBF title. And they're going to do it in the down under in Australia. So George Cambosis shocked the world beating Tiafimo Lopez and picking up the unified title, something the fight before Lomachenko failed to do. Lomachenko came up short against Tiafimo Lopez in a unification battle. Then Cambosis, he dropped Tiafimo Lopez and then won the, the belts from Tio. Then he dropped the belts twice. Uh, to Devin and Dream Haney. Then Lomachenko attempted to pick the titles back up from Devin Haney, and he lost to Devin Haney as well. Now they're going to fight because Devin Haney vacated the belts, moved up to Julian Welterweight. Now the belts uh, have gotten somewhat scattered, but they have a face, all but the IBF title. You have the WBO is going to be Emmanuel Navarrete, you have the WBC is Shakur Stevenson, and the WBA is Javante Tank Davis, right? And so now they're going to fight Cambosis and Loma for the vacant IBF title. Now, George Cambosis, after losing twice to Devin and Dream Haney, he had another fight and George Cambosis didn't look good to say the least I actually thought he lost the fight right and Lomachenko he hasn't fought since he lost to Devin Haney okay so neither one looked uh, uh, neither guy has been active for one right so Cambosis, he fought Maxi Hughes, and I thought he lost. Now, he won a majority decision, but I thought he actually lost to Maxi Hughes. And the last time we saw Loma was when he fought Devin Haney. So he's been out the ring for a year, and he's in an advanced age in his, in his career, right? Lomachenko is a masterclass boxer, a masterclass boxer. George Cambosis has an unpredictable, herky-jerky, uh, fittery type of style, right? That's why Tiafimo Lopez had a, a, a hard time offsetting George Cambosis and timing George Cambosis. Although he, after he got dropped, he came back and he dropped uh, uh, George Cambosis, but he still lost. Right? He still lost. He still ended up losing. So, with that said, right, um, in this fight, the herky-jerky style and movement, Maxi Hughes was able to time it. Maxi Hughes was able to get the timing of George Cambosis and capitalize. And Lomachenko, I believe, is 10 times better than Maxi Hughes. No disrespect to Maxi Hughes. And Lomachenko is naturally a right-hander, but fights southpaw. Uh, he's very crafty, uh, very slick. Uh, he has very good uh, foot movement and hand placement and punch placement and punch uh, output. And Cambosa's style is tailor-made for the style of what Lomachenko likes to face off against, right? This is, this is what Lomachenko loves to face off against. This style is what Lomachenko, he thrives on fighters with this type of style because he computes information extremely well. He'll, he's going to pick up the information extremely well and extremely quickly of Cambosis. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez is powerful. Uh, he is a uh, uh, um, young, strong, big fighter, right? Devin Haney as well. They, they rangy, they big, right? They have a high ring IQ, jabs, they're athletic. That's something that Cambosis doesn't have. 
Lomachenko struggles with those types of fighters. He's not going to struggle with Cambosis tonight. So with that said, Vasil Lomachenko is going to overwhelm George Cambosis, in my opinion, and he's going to stop George Cambosis in the eighth round. I think the, the, the amount of punishment Cambosis is going to take because, see, Cambosis, he likes to, he'll trade with you. He's not shy about mixing it up. He's not shy about trading with you. Not at all. So he's going to mix it up with uh, uh, Lomachenko, and that's going to be his downfall. And in the eighth round, he's going to get stopped. And Lomachenko is going to become the IBF lightweight champion and unify against Shakur Stevenson in the fall in a mega fight. So that's my final fight prediction. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all, man. I'm gone. Peace.